Hello, it's Menzo. I've got an update on the Minecraft uh, network project that was initially started by Tyron X. If you haven't seen his channel, I highly recommend it. He's come up with a network system to allow minecarts to travel from any point in your world to any other point in your world and automatically find the right path to get there. It's really uh, a, an ingenious design. I'm, I was highly impressed with it and I decided to to take a copy of uh, Tyron X's design and to see whether I can improve it and refine that a bit further. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos, I, I suggest you go and check out his channel uh, to have a quick catch up. This is where we got up to. Uh, you'll have a, a, a cart, carts traveling in pairs. The first cart will be a messenger cart carrying a book with the destination either station A, B or C. And that mine cart will be uh, followed by a payload cart containing the goods that you want to transport uh, gold, diamonds, iron ore or passengers and those carts will then head off towards a junction and that messenger book will help the junction figure out which way the carts want to go. This is a little contraption here just to simulate uh, traffic arriving at the junction so we'll get that going and we'll send off some carts towards the junction. Now you'll see there's a PEZ dispenser which will queue up the carts because we can't overload them and you have too many carts arriving at the junction at the same time. So that pest dispenser will make sure that the carts uh, fire off into the junction one at a time and you can see the first cart here is stopped and wait, there they go, hang on there's the second one going back, so here's go. there's the first cart um, the book is being inspected through an item sorter to determine which direction the carts want to go and then the carts are going on their way, so those two went to the uh, the left. Let's see which way these two carts go. They're going to the left as well. We've got another two coming. Okay, they're two going off to the right. So the messenger cart in the the book in the first messenger cart tells the junction which way to send the cart. Um, it's a really wonderful design, and I I think it's a, a brilliant idea. But it does use a lot of resources, and I've been thinking there's there's maybe some other uh, alternatives that we could use without stopping the minecarts. Let's see whether we can get them running at high speed. So that led me to some experiments of my own, and I've added an extra column here in light blue to these pillars, uh, describing how far we've progressed with building these different components of the uh, minecart network project. Let me go and jump over and I'll show you some of the experiments that I've started and the, the thought process to design a, an alternative solution. I thought we could have the uh, the item sorter buried underneath the track. So there's just two rows of hoppers here uh, and as the items fall into the, the appropriate hopper they'll trigger a redstone signal to switch the track and to unlock a hopper to deposit a duplicate copy of that book back into the cart as it passes through. Now that system works, um, but it, uh, I wasn't entirely happy with it. Um, we still need to transport or find a way to now transport the, uh, the books from the item sorter at the beginning into the appropriate hopper further down the track. But it does work. I, uh, the carts can come up here at full speed, um, trigger off the the redstone and then they'll get diverted across to the appropriate track um, but I thought uh, there's even uh, even some better ways of doing it I started experimenting with trying to take out the book and deposit a duplicate book back into the cart at the same time as you can see I've had a, a few goes at this and eventually came up with this is version 0.4 now let's see if I can demonstrate this this technique. Uh, this chest has a book with destination A. Now that should go all the way over the junction and along the loop at the back. And it does. Okay, and that's going to come back again. Now the second cut here should have should have B. Yep, so this is going to destination B. Now that should funnel off down this uh, first track and come all the way around again. So this is, uh, I think, 
a working design. I love this because it's quite compact. Let's just check. This is book number B again. Yes, it is. So as it goes around, it uh, it gets into a mini item sorter, and a duplicate copy of the book is put back into the cart as it goes through the junction. So some of the good things I like here is it's uh, very compact, uh, and the carts are travelling here at high speed. Um, I've kept it fairly fairly small. The redstone here can probably be improved. I'm not the uh, I'm not the world's best redstone um, designer, but I love the simplicity of this. Uh, being able to divert the carts off at high speed um, with a fairly simple design. When I started to uh, uh, experiment with uh, building it into a system, I realised that we need to have a, a model here catering for. Uh, rail that's traveling in a south and west direction where this junction here needs to be powered on in order to continue straight on and then we need to switch it off when we want the carts to go down the uh, the branch line so I had another uh, track set up over here where I was trying some different options for um, the switching mechanism to keep that switch um, powered at the beginning and then we'll switch it off when we uh, when we want the cart to go down the branch line so this is my uh, design which I've uh, come up with after a few iterations I like it because it's compact it's still within that two block wide uh, dimensions of the original design and it seems to work the only uh, disadvantage now I've, I've encountered is that carts uh, traveling in this direction uh, which is which is for we're facing north uh, carts traveling along here will travel too fast to actually take that branch line so I've had to put in this little braking system here to slow the carts down so that they can get through that junction when it switches now for so it's a little odd because we didn't need that when the carts were traveling uh, in the other direction but for this uh, north, when they're facing north, you need to have, break the carts to make them slow down a little bit. And uh, I'll do a little demonstration of that here. The carts start off going really fast, top speed, and you can see they they suddenly slow down when they brush up against these other mine carts at the side. I'll do that. I'll do that one more time. High speed, high speed, and then break. So we can use these mine carts here as a useful technique to slow the carts down to an appropriate speed so that they can go through that junction. Let me see if I can get this one uh, going. Now I've got in this uh, hopper I think three three books so it should uh, if I switch this on it should go through that junction three times and then the last time it will go off the end of the track so that's going through there at once and as you can see it's slowed down to go through the uh, to go through the junction, high speeds break through the corner and off it goes again. So that's the second time, and high speed and break. Okay, now I have done this multiple times. If I take away those carts, it doesn't work, and the cart just goes straight uh, across the junction. Now that's going through there that time because uh, it doesn't have a book and it, it didn't trigger off the, the, the switch. Um, but that's, uh, I think, a, a, a much much more compact and uh, much more simple design, which I then took into um, my final uh, build, which I'll show you next. OK, so I'm going over to the integration uh, testing uh, tracks and I've added another pillar here for the high-speed junction integration test. And for this, I've taken that uh, two-block-wide design and I've duplicated it uh, three times in each direction so that we can actually get, in this case, uh, three, a 12-junction intersection. Now this obviously will uh, scale out as, as long uh, as you want in any direction but I've set this up so I can make sure that uh, there's no hiccups or problems with carts 
uh, traveling in any direction um, and at any different speed. I've had to put in here the little braking mechanism to slow them down for the first um, the first junction here but then these ones here when they're traveling in this direction they can go at full speed they don't need to be braked because we've uh, got the smaller design here for the, the, the switches on this track here facing east and this track here that's facing south but when we go this way west and north uh, we need to turn the track um, so that the track is um, switched on and uh, that needs us to have a braking system to slow the cart down as it approaches let me go over here and I'll start some of those off let's put in here one two three so I'm going to trigger these off as quickly as I can Okay, now they should go through the first three tracks. So there's one, the second, and the first. Now you can see they're still traveling at high speed. I'm going to switch that off, and you'll see that um, the carts do pick up a book on the way through. Let me just put in number one again. Fire that one off. So it approaches the junction, detects the book, pushes it along, and it sucks out another book from that hopper as it passes. So that book at the front should still have, sorry, the, the cart at the front still has a book for number one, and it can carry on to the next junction. So it's uh, really, really useful. Um, I think it's a much uh, uh, nicer, uh, compact design, uh, and keeps the carts going at, at full speed. I'm going to try this again. Um, let's try with four, uh, five, six, uh, and we'll put in one, two, three as well. This time I'll I'll trigger them off as uh, fast as we can with the the similar uh, similar to Tyrone X. I'm going. They're going to get fired off, and you'll see that there's um, there's there's a fairly large gap in here between the carts, but that can easily get reduced much much shorter um, there's almost no need for a PEZ dispenser as these carts come through okay they've obviously got uh, glitched on a, a piece of track here somewhere yeah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, now the uh, there is an issue with this. I'll um, I'll be honest. I only found this after a lot of testing. Um, the problem is with the carts that are going in this direction, uh, south, south and uh, west, that um, mine carts passing by a hopper will suck out items from that hopper even when the hopper is not facing the track uh, that the minecart is traveling on um, this hopper you can see is facing uh, to this this branch line but as a cart passes across here it's going to take out whatever item is in that that hopper and by default I've got a book in there ready so that as soon as the uh, the track gets switched and the minecart goes down that track it's going to take that duplicate copy of the book and carry on its way but unfortunately um, there appears to be a bug in uh, in Minecraft. You can look at my other video where I've tried to uh, experiment and uh, fully explore this issue. Any cart coming along here will suck out that book even though the hopper is not actually facing this track. I'll, uh, I'll do a quick demonstration because it was uh, very frustrating. So let me just set this up. Uh, yes, number seven. I'll do one with number eight. Uh, one with number nine, and we'll see that this uh, this goes wrong. Just get, trigger them off. Number seven works, but number eight, no, it breaks. 
Okay, and the cards go. <laughs> the cards are not going in the right direction. So the reason is that as the cards come along here, they'll suck out the book from here, even though um, the cart uh, is not actually attaching to the the direction that the hopper is facing. I've raised that as a bug. You can check out the other video in my uh, stream. Uh, to see more about that bug and to follow that up with Mojang to see whether we can get that fixed. But at the moment, uh, this will need another redesign to be able to support uh, tracks when the minecart is traveling uh, that south and west. As long as you can align the, uh, the junctions and the switches uh, for carts that are traveling uh, north and east, this the system works and it's brilliant and I, I know I'm, I'm thinking of building this up into another larger experiment. But for carts traveling that south and west, because of this hopper bug, we'll need to have a different design that puts the hopper um, one block further apart um, from where it is at the moment. Otherwise, uh, you know, we, we've got this issue here. But I thought um, I'd share with you what I've done so far. I'm going to take this further and do some more experiments to work on a different design um, to get over this bug. Uh, but uh, I thought that was useful. Um, I'm, I'm really uh, pleased with how it's gone so far. Um, please go and look at uh, Tyron X's videos. He's done some other modules um, and he, he inspired um, this, this technique of having the messenger carts uh, following ahead of the payload that you want to, to send anywhere on your network. All right, that's all for now and I hope to see you soon with an update on a, a new design very shortly. Thanks and I'll see you later. Bye.